Hello everybody, uh, so it's been a long time since I've done a teardown so I thought it was about time. Um, I've got uh, this little unit here to take apart. I've had this for uh, just before Christmas. Um, uh, it's been sat here languishing. I've, I have had it apart bef uh, um, off camera so I know roughly what's inside it but uh, I think it might be interesting to take it apart and show you on camera um, because uh, it did prove quite interesting when I when I had a quick look inside it. So what this actually is, is a Physio Control VSM3 cardiac monitor. So this is an ECG machine, um, electrocardiograph. Um, so it's uh, basically a heart monitor. Now, as you can tell, it's, um, it's not exactly a modern unit. Um, um, this one dates from the uh, late 80s. I picked this up on eBay. Um, for 20 quid well I actually paid 20 quid for a working one um, and got this non-working one um, bundled in with the price so uh, that's why I'm going to take this one apart so as I'm sure most of you are aware an EC, ECG machine heart monitor you know it's the sort of thing where you have the electrode stuck on you and um, it sits there and goes beep 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 every time um, you, you, your heart beats this is a fairly basic model um, the, there's just some very very basic controls on here. Um, the it's an old analog CRT screen. Um, it basically just shows you the um, the ECG trace along with uh, the pulse rate. Um, you've got adjustments here for the the size. Um, you've got alarms for um, high heart rate and low heart rate. Um, lead select. That's uh, you use that to uh, switch between the different. Um, Connections on the uh, the leads that are actually attached to the body to show you different different types of uh, of ECG trace, um, and then just three buttons on on this here. So you got uh, on off. Um, that's freeze or pause button to freeze the display and um, an alarm silence. And uh, obviously on the on the front here we've got uh, the ECG input. Um, this. Um, the, the my working one actually came with the the correct leads that plugs in here that then connects to the the sticky sticky probes that actually attach to you. So on the back we have um, QRS volume. That's just the volume of the beep um, volume for the alarm brilliance, which is basically just brightness. We've got a pulse input here and a switch to switch between pulse enable and ECG. So I suspect this might be a separate um, sensor just to monitor the pulse that you can then feed into this rather than um, deriving it from the, the actual ECG trace. Uh, we've got uh, uh, an output port here just called systems. I'm not really sure what that's, uh, that's used for. Um, it probably connects on to um, other similar similar types of equipment. Uh, we've got a, an earth earthing post here. Um, here we have uh, DC power. Now this is actually a, a three-way powered um, device. You have mains input, uh, which is switchable from 115 to uh, uh, 240 volt. We've got 12 volt input as well uh, and also inside there is uh, two very small lead acid batteries as well so it will run off battery power at least for a period of time I suspect you can have the system running while you've unplugged it and moved the patient and then plug it in again elsewhere so with all the screws removed and the back panel released this then allows you to slide out The actual unit. So the chassis is uh, just a, a steel, pressed steel enclosure. Right. So the main chassis is constructed with these uh, these four bars which run in the corners. Um, everything else seems to bolt to that, including the the front panel and the, the rear panel as well. Looking from the top here you can see the um, CRT 
we've got a large board on the top here, another board on the side, one right at the back. We have a, a toroidal uh, transformer. And in between there's another board here and we've got this big uh, shielding can which is located where the um, ECG input leads connect into so I suspect the uh, analog front end is underneath uh, underneath this box in fact I, I know so because I've, I've actually been in here already and on the other side we have another board and you can probably just see down in there the power switches and power connections as well. So I've just removed uh, four screws out of the base here. That allows me to take this off. Now um, if I hadn't have been in here already uh, you would then see in here these two small um, sealed lead acid batteries. Um, which are rated at 6 volt 1.2 amps so I would imagine that these would have been um, in series to give you uh, 12 volts. Here we can see the uh, the, the actual uh, all of the CRT you can see the bottom of the uh, that second board that we saw from the other side um, that looks like a piezo uh, um, transducer so this, this is the sounder So uh, I hope you're watching in uh, HD because you probably need it. Um, it's uh, difficult to zoom in on uh, all the different parts. Obviously here it's, uh, it says store board. Right, of course, with this particular type of uh, ECG, it does have a, um, a freeze function, which obviously means on the CRT, um, you can actually freeze the trace of the ECG on the screen uh, by pressing the button on the front. So. Uh, you will have to uh, store all that um, trace in memory somewhere to allow you to freeze it. Um, obviously this is not a pure analog uh, system. So this is very much similar to a, um, an early digital um, oscilloscope. Um, in fact if you think about it, ECG machines are very very similar to oscilloscopes. Um, they uh, display uh, voltage over time. So what is going to happen in this is the, the analog signal from uh, the body is uh, sent into the um, analog front end. It will then get digitized and then um, stored in this board to allow it to slowly scroll across the screen in the normal, uh, the normal fashion that you see with ECG machines. So we'll just have a quick look through some of the components on here and see where, where we can figure out uh, where the memory is. Um, if there's any kind of other processing, uh, etc. So at, uh, at first glance there seems to be uh, two parts of this, this board here. We have what looks to be more of an analogue um, section here and this appears to be more digital. This one here is uh, a DAC08CP, um, the letters DAC, um, we'll give that one away. Um, it is a 8-bit um, digital to analog converter with one megahertz of bandwidth. Uh, this one here is a UM2114AL-1 which is a, a general purpose static RAM. Um, we've got 1K words, 4 bits per word, so it's a 512 byte um, static RAM memory. And uh, just above it we have uh, another one of those. And we can also see at the back here power supply board. So this, this board here is uh, clearly the, uh, the mains input. Um, so there will be a power supply. Um, the CRT also connects through onto this board here. So I would imagine that this is doing the horizontal and vertical deflection in the, um, the, basically the, the entire control of the the CRT so that would be why there's this connector here going from this board here which does the the actual um, sampling digitization what have you um, so the actual analog control for operating the CRT will be coming over here and then this will be actually operating the the actual um, gun 
the uh, deflection coils and uh, what have you. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just disconnect all of this stuff um, just so we can get this apart a little bit easier. So this is the alarm board that uh, I've just taken out. Um, very similar construction to the other one. It's all very, very analog. Lots of squiggly, squiggly lines, all hand traced, like the uh, the store board. Um, I think I've just spotted a, a potential date code here um, of uh, 2786, which would tie in nicely to the 1987 date code that's on the uh, that's on the base. There's also um, several dates on these uh, ICs sort of relate to 1985, 1986. So this is just taking a, a look at the back of the power supply board. Um, there's uh, printed on the legend here we've got um, um, some adjustment pots. Um, two of them are, uh, well one of them is X gain, one of them is Y gain. So I would imagine that this is the um, section for controlling the CRT, the X and Y deflection. Um, and the adjustments, the adjustments for that. So I'm just removing out here the uh, the power board. There's uh, a few connections here. So Okay, here we have the power supply board out. Uh, we've got um, this is quite clearly the HV um, for the uh, driving the CRT. Uh, we've got uh, the um, up at the top here. These look like the drivers for the the X and Y uh, deflection coils. Um, the capacitors here are only 85 degree rated. They are Japanese though. So we'll just have a quick look under under here. And there's the high voltage uh, power supply for the uh, uh, the CRT. All covered in gunk. So the power from that comes in from here and then goes out to the the actual CRT here and the main um, acceleration voltage would be on here. So on here we had the uh, the power switch, voltage selection switch, we've got the transformer, mains input, fuses, 12 volt input, and this little daughter board on the back there. I don't suppose there's really going to be much in there. So if we have a quick look at the front, front here we've got uh, these uh, multi-position switches. The lead select which is inside, inside this can. I think it's time we uh, have a look inside here. Right, I've uh, just got the um, what appears the the analog front end out. Um, I had to remove the CRT to actually get it out, so uh, that's why that's now out. So this was um, obviously mounted inside. We can see the connectors uh, for the uh, ECG leads go in here. There is actually another separate um, metal box inside. Um, can't really see what's going on in here yet. So we'll just take off this this top cover. Right, well this looks uh, looks kind of interesting. We've got um, this uh, additional uh, shielding box here and uh, two connections running through two small transformers. So what this looks like to me is a um, it's actually on the front panel it did say that the inputs were all isolated so 
Um, it could be that uh, there's actually um, just an inductive connection between um, the front and the rest of the electronics which is all connected to essentially to uh, to the mains. Right, um, so what we have is the um, the inputs from the leads. There's uh, four connections on here. We've got uh, LA, RA, LL and SCN. Now these will be for uh, left arm, um, right, right arm and left leg and that will be screen. Uh, so these come in through these uh, these resistors here, which are uh, 68 meg. Uh, now we can see here there's obviously a clear deline uh, delineation between this side and this side. So you can see in here there's uh, no traces at all which run on that PCB. So all of the the power for this and the uh, the signal going back is all through these two inductive loops here. And we can also see here there is some additional isolation between um, this which was the chassis ground on the actual unit. We have a plastic spacer with uh, two uh, separate screws in, again on this side. And then one down in the uh, in the centre there. So the whole of this section, even the screen, is uh, isolated from the actual main unit. These are um, op amps. So I guess these are going to be sort of preparing the signal ready to uh, to send over these two inductive inductive loops here. Also, see here. This is probably some kind of guard trace. I would imagine because it's um, this is connected to. This would have been connected to the um, the actual isolated uh, can. This one that runs all the way around here. Okay, and last thing to look at is the CRT. It's a small. Cute little unit. Um, it's uh, NEC made in Japan, as the, a lot of these things were. Uh, magnetic deflection rather than electrostatic. Not much to see on that really. Yeah, I've just taken off the, uh, the deflection coils off this, just so you can see. See inside should just be able to see those two white filaments in there, that's the, uh, the actual heater for the electron gun and then you've got the various stages of it, uh, focusing and acceleration. Right, I think that pretty much concludes uh, this video I think. I found that uh, really quite interesting actually, um, especially the, uh, the analog front end using the uh, the inductive loops there to uh, to isolate the patient from the uh, the rest of the equipment um, the rest of it was uh, pretty pretty much typical old school 1980s uh, 1980s stuff um, nice CRT there right well if you uh, if you like this video hit the like button that's brilliant I much appreciate it when uh, when people hit the like button um, if you've got any comments or things to um, that you've spotted in this video that I haven't that you, you want to comment on please leave those in the comments I'd be more than interested to uh, to read about them um, and uh, I hope I will uh, see you on the next video